Mr. Video Camera, a Datura Cocaine, Cannabis, Alcohol, and Nitrous Oxide Trip Report by Way Down. Exams are over. My friend and I had been studying our arses off and were looking forward to the night which we had saved up for. We had read many a report about the majority of substances we were intending on ingesting, and yes, we both intentionally wanted to push the stupidity barriers by getting fucked up on exorbitant amounts of everything. About four days ago, to be precise, a uni lecturer from the toxicology unit pointed out that there were detura plants growing around the campus, and to our amusement, we didn't have to venture very far in order to find a very enticing-looking plant filled with many of these glorious devil trumpets. We did not hesitate in picking ourselves three 15 to 20 centimeter flowers and a few leaves, just for kicks. So we walk and talk and walk some more until we reach our campus apartment, where we then proceed to do the usual extraction technique, boiling the flowers and leaves in a pot until it was a yellowish tinge, draining it, mixing it with some cinnamon sugar, and letting it rest in the refrigerator. The thought that consumed both of us at this point was almost exactly the same. A nice, cool, refreshing drink to accompany all of our other supplies. An exciting thought indeed. We then railed up 0.2 gram coke lines for each of us. Usually, we have both enjoyed ourselves immensely whilst under the influence of good old Charlie. After our lines, we're feeling fine, so venture on to roll ourselves a mother blunt, and it was just that. We chucked on one of our favorite albums of all time, Piper at the Gates of Dawn, and continued to draw in the sweet smoke of Mary Jane whilst babbling on like monkeys. When reading this, it may appear that this occurred over a short period of time, extracting the Datura, snorting the coke, etc. It wasn't a short period of time, maybe about two and a half hours to the point where we smoke the last of our blunt and feel fantastic. What to do now? We have quite a bit of ingesting to do before the night is through, although a difficult question is, what next? Neither of us had touched a turd before, and we were excited to say the least. From what we had read of Datura reports, People don't feel like they're actually tripping as such, so our plan was to hook up the God-blessed video camera and get it all on cam. We then decided to not rush into it and smoke a few cigarettes, drink a few brews while sitting on the baby balcony, observing the wonders that are, campus gardens. Profound, really. Uh, this seemed a bit banal for us, so we had a few more lines. More albums, more coke. More albums, more coke. More. is a great Pink Floyd album, so we put it on. The deter would have been chilled by now, so we pondered if right now may be the right time to have a sip. Music setting is vital, so we put on California by Mr. Bungle. On goes the recording button of Mr. Video Camera, and we get two pretty cups and fill each other up. It is nowhere near as bad tasting as we had anticipated, maybe because of the cinnamon sugar, but it really wasn't too bad. Bitter, if anything. From our brew, we got about one liter and a half mix. We consumed a few glasses until we only had about a half liter left, and we decided to slow things down. We sat down to play Connect Four, which is a loved game between us. We didn't notice anything at first, obviously, so we kept playing, sparking cigarettes. Throat felt a bit dry, as did my friend's. He's called Jekyll, by the way. Connect Four got a bit old, so we took turns in using the toilet. He seemed to have no trouble taking a tinkle, but for me it was beyond difficult. It was extremely, extremely fucking hard. And on the flip side of the coin, my bladder felt as though it might very well burst soon. I sat on the toilet in a bit of pain just thinking to myself, and I noticed that my friend from high school slid under the crack of the toilet cubicle. Gee, thanks, Renee. A bit of privacy would be appreciated. Although seeing you is quite good also. How have things been? She seemed offended and disappeared. I wasn't trying to insult her, but it wasn't my fault and I had nothing to feel sorry about. I come out of the toilet and there Jekyll is, laughing hysterically and having conversations with people he can see but I cannot. This made me rather jealous, so I then pounce on Jekyll and to my surprise end up face down on the floor. I scream out, Jekyll, Jekyll, you sneaky motherfucker. Where are you hiding? And his head pops up behind the back of the sofa. I lunge at it and again he disappears into fat air. This game isn't fair. Jekyll then finally comes up behind me and proposes that we get out the nangulator and get into the nitrous. Fantastic idea. Side note, um, I have no clue what a nangulator is, and when I searched up nangulator and nitrous oxide, the only result that came up was this trip report, so if anyone knows what that is, please let me know in the comments. Anyways, 
Not so fantastic idea. I don't know how either of us were able to complete something so complex as finding the whippets and charging them into the canister, as well as inhaling, but we did, and neither of us remember anything afterwards. After a few days of mind games and eyesight problems, him and I decided to watch the video. Yes, the video. And we were shocked. We were watching ourselves as schizophrenics, really. I would be talking to people I hadn't seen in ages, claiming that we should scratch our way to India from our apartment, smoking invisible cigarettes constantly. I had a brawl with someone who wasn't there. Jekyll, on the other hand, sat there for a long time in silence, and then started screaming, Get the fuck out of my place, Allison. Get the fuck out. You're fucking with my head, you manipulative whore. He then turned to me in the video and said, I can't handle that bitch. She comes here, pretends to love me, and then steps on my feet. It's an outrage. The night continues with us looking for the remainder of our drugs, which we had a lot of but couldn't find. We then went our own separate ways. I went to one side of the room. He goes to the other side of the room. I'm screaming with bugs crawling out of every orifice, whilst Jekyll plays imaginary guitar. No, not air guitar, imaginary guitar, there's a difference. He got so into it at one point he burst out into tears and yelled, You're a shitty crowd anyway, fuck you. Knock, knock, knock on the door, who could it be? I'm sure I was aware that I was covered in bugs and had to act normal to the visitor, but was not sure if that makes sense. I open the door and it's our neighbor telling us to shut up or she'll get us in trouble. This is when, unfortunately, the video cuts out, and we've not been in trouble as of yet. Deterra is only exciting if you intend on watching the video yourself afterwards. In my opinion, of course, everyone has a different reaction. But video cams are good, mark my word.